All right, so back to this again, just continuing carrying on. Um, I don't know what part it is. I think it might be part 20. Um, but yeah, we're still on Monica's route, surprisingly. Um, I don't remember. Yeah, it is part 20. I don't remember which route we finished Sayori's on, but I, I think it was exactly part 10. Also, I can't hear shit. All right. I'm pretty sure it was exactly part 10. So, I will say Monica's route is definitively taking longer than Say Sayori's, right? But that's because we're getting into a lot more of the uh, backstory involving uh, the MC, not only the MC and Izuki, but also, you know, again, right, uh, Ashley and Julia as well. And kind of, you know, we're really seeing how the MC was made into kind of, you know, the man that we see in the mod. Um, really, the big thing is we didn't get much of that in Sayori's route. Sayori's route was much more focused on kind of, I'd say, the present. But I'd say Monica's route, I'd say, is definitively, you know, more kind of focused on the past, right? You know, again, really, um, we, we honestly, it's gotten to a point to where it seems like we don't really, even though, you know, the whole point is that the MC is doing it for Monica, right? We're getting more of the past on this route than anything else. Again, not necessarily some, and again, the, the big thing we thought was we originally thought Monica's father was in on it, right? But again, maybe this is still just a henchman or middle man, but, you know, We'll see what he does to him, right? So we saw what he did to the last guy, you know, with the uh, waterboarding and, again, you know, gasoline. So. Hey, you know, freaking, uh, hey, that, it, pricey hotels, you know, expensive suits. Uh, all right, you know, that last point kind of got him, but the first two, you know. Let's see, he's like, whoo, he's getting sweaty in here. Uh Doe. Dude, you're Jesus fucking Christ. Of course his name isn't John Doe. That is just a that is there's no way the MC did not know that was a stand-in. Okay, the black metallic card, you know, is a pretty uh what what kind of credit card is it, you know? Uh, and what is the photo? So John Keeter. So probably a fake, you know. Let's see. I mean, again, dude, his name isn't fucking Doe. We literally know this. Woman and a child. Who... All right, but, you know, who is it, right? All right, you know, a trade deal, like, all right, he kind of let on there. I was saying, you know, he was just playing the deny game, you know. But again, you know, he brought that up. It's like, all right, you know, kind of got him there, so... All right, I'm a, I'm not even going to lie, you know. That's there's like if this technology actually exists, that's pretty cool. Like I don't know if that's a, like, you know, you have a fake like photo um you know, what would you call printout, right? So Yeah, but I mean, you know, at the end of the at the end of the day, this is the problem, right? If you and this is why when you have families, you don't get involved in this kind of business because anything can be collateral. You think the MC cares about this man's wife and kid, you know, he'd butcher him, you know, just to get to this dude, right? Like I hate to say it, you know, but that's kind of the nature of it. You if you really cared about your wife and kid, you wouldn't have gotten involved in this business because now they're on the line as collateral. So this man saying they have nothing to do with this, I don't think that's the case. I think they'll pay the price for your, uh, you know, for your uh, actions and deeds here, right? You know, you saying 
again, you know, it'd be one thing if this man didn't care, right? But if he if he naively believed, you know, that his wife and kid would get off the line, that's uh again, you know, uh especially reveal that information they have a wife and kid. That's pretty naive on his part. So Barano Haikot Hikaido, so Yeah, they're innocent. Well, you know, not anymore. Guilty by association. Edge? Oh, let's see. I hire a random criminal. So, dude, this is literally the craziest thing is this is the exact same thing that Kagan did. So rather than it being Kagan, you know, in Sayori's route, instead it's this man. But obviously we know this man, you know, he got, you know, commissioned by someone else, right? So he just kind of didn't want to do the dirty work, you know, and got someone else involved, right? And got this criminal gang involved. But obviously, you know, he got he got it from someone else. So And again, so uh, granted, horrible interrogation tactics because the MC is blatantly revealing that she's not Izuki, right? You know, which again, what that tells this man is that he, the MC, has a thing for how many years ago. And then again, not only that, but the man's also revealing that. So, and again, you know, yeah, no, dude, this isn't a fucking like, this isn't a shocker moment. This isn't a. What would you call it? This isn't a fucking, you know, like, uh, you know, revelation, right? We knew this as soon as Monica, like the MC even said himself. This isn't, th th I don't fucking understand this mom. How is this supposed to come off as a surprise? This is literally like the most obvious thing in existence. Like... Well, we don't fucking know what happened to her. I mean, supposedly she survived, but we don't know after that, right? But, like, I just... This makes zero fucking sense. Like, okay, I'm more interested in how they potentially manipulated him, right? Obviously, Zuki was a big part of it. But I just don't see how any of this is supposed to be a surprise or, like, a big revelation. All of this is literally just obvious, like... The MC himself said the common denominator was him. Like, he acknowledged that ultimately he's likely the reason. So. And again, like, this is, I feel like this is the lot. Like, I just don't get how the mods trying to push this is some big revelation. This is literally just kind of like, I feel like this is the most obvious thing. The MC was a loose set and they needed to get rid of. That's why they went after him. That's just the most obvious thing in existence. Like, so they are involved on the organization. So, again, you know, and again, the crazy thing being, because that seemingly implicates Ashley and her being in on it. So, And again, her father, right? But, and again, you know, this crime member. So, d d d what is, like, this isn't a grand revelation. This is so fucking stupid. This isn't some grand revelation. No shit Izuki was innocent. Because even if they were after her, they would have used her to get to her father. We literally, she was in the same fucking car as her dad. 
you know, and fucking, you know, obviously, right? That, that wasn't, the crazy thing is at the incident, it was the fucking prime minister's aide. And it wasn't until that drew her dad, dude, like, I don't understand how this is supposed to be some massive revelation. Like, this is just obvious in what we've known. No shit. They don't fucking care about some random idol. Like, this isn't, dude, I hate this mod so goddamn much. I just don't understand how the mod is trying to push this is like a plot twist. This is literally what we've known. This just makes zero fucking of in, of the what fucking information, dude. So, but that makes this that still doesn't make sense. Like that doesn't explain why. Again, you know they didn't bother to hire protect because even the put. This is so fucking stupid. Because obviously her father was the target, but that doesn't mean collateral isn't a possibility. The MC very much brought it up. So this isn't some massive revel. Like, this makes no fucking sense. And again, the information can just be whatever. Even if there wasn't whatever information, simply the fact that he occupies a powerful enough position. So, and, all right, so, but this doesn't make sense. Like, this, none of this shit makes sense. How does this lead to him, you know, him even when, because he doesn't do better than a normal team. Like, they could have sent a team of five digits, and they would have protected Izuki. Are you, yeah, no, sh dude, like, I don't understand how this mod is pushing this as some grand revelation. Like, this isn't like, a, oh, gotcha, like, you know, shocker moment, right? We knew from the very start they were after Izuki with the real target being the father, you know? So regardless of how that played out, I mean, yeah, they threatened Izuki to keep the father from talking. They also just killed the father, you know? But the thing, the only thing that doesn't make sense is why they, that still doesn't answer why they would assign a four digit as opposed to a team of five digits. That, like, that makes no fucking sense. Like, sense who we are. You know? So again, right? Chances are it's the same organization his father was involved with. But again, so they're going, okay, you know, fucking Ashley, right? So, and again, you know, fuck, yeah, no, that's, I even roasted the MC for wearing formal attire, right? So that just means the IGA was in on it and they wanted to dispose of the MC, which makes zero sense because that means that Ashley was also in on it. So... Yeah, no shit, Sherlock, you know. Like, this isn't a revelation. This isn't a revelation. Hagashida. So, okay, this is actually interesting. The Prime Minister, that is actually, this is an interest, this is actually something that's interesting and something that's actually surprising. So they were with the Prime Minister, right? You know, and not only that, just the assistant. Like, I'm not going to lie. Also, the fact that this man's admitting this is pretty fucking stupid when the MC has him in questioning. Unless he has, like, a suicide vest and he's got to take everyone with him. He's just literally made to everything. But this is actually a surprise. This is really the first surprise we've had the whole time because we've suspected it was Monica's father. You know, it was the IGA, but it was never the fact that it could have been the prime minister, given that that was seemingly the main target. Mm. And they, I guess, just so happened to, you know, take out uh, Izuki's father in the crossfire. But again, I will say this is the first surprise, like actual kind of revelation we've had. Okay, but... Does this do have a suicide vest? Like. Okay, so does bro have a bomb on him? Like, you know. 
okay, is he going to get a fucking airstrike call? Like, you know, a lot of people, all right, well, if the freaking IGA headquarters can just get bombed like this, you know, then they're just fucked anyway. Like, where the f what the fuck is going on? So, okay, but if the, literally, if the IGA headquarters can just get raided like this, that's like fucking DC getting fucking, you know, raided. Like, what kind of stupid ass orders is that, bro? They're getting closer. Bitch, so... This this makes zero fucking sense, dude. Like, I figured what would make more sense is if the guy had, like, a bomb on him and he blew it up from the... But, like, it's, I guess, just a wave assault. Like... Dude, freaking uh, a pretty beefy-looking plate carrier. Hey. Oh, my God, I hate this fucking theme. Hey, wait, no, it's different? It's different? Also, I was gonna say, hey, pretty beefy plate carrier, bro. Like, when you, when you want... When you go for plate carriers... You want to go for a slick one that like still covers because let's put it this way, right? What is the function and purpose of a plate carrier, right? It is to hold the plates, right? What's the purpose and function of the plates? You know, to stop bullets. Do you know how to size and wear plate carrier? You know, and wear plates. You know, the top of the plate should be right at your collarbone. The bottom of the plate should be right at the bottom of your rib cage. And then the side should go out to your nipple line. Because you're basically covering your entire rib cage. Which, because ribs are not bulletproof. But, you know, you should basically be covering your whole rib cage. Because that's something to where, at the end of the day, you know, that's where all your vitals are. Like, some people wear, like, most people, I don't even think you can wear it too high. But probably, most people wear it too low. Where it's like, you'll get shot in the collarbone and die. But you want that area covered, you know, but if you so long as you wear your front and back plates and have them sized for that area with your plate carrier, like you don't really need much more like just having like a beefy plate carrier serves zero functionality and utility, right? Like even side plates, like lots of people don't rock side plates, which, you know, are supposed to cover kind of the sides. But it's like, you know, that's just reduces your mobility, right? You know, there, right? Granted, the MC is just raw dogging it, no plate carrier, that's kind of crazy. But, like, just having a slick one, and especially, like, because, like, let's put it this way. If you need a fuck ton of shit, right, then obviously you want all that shit on your plate carrier. But if you're just gonna go plate carrier, gun, right, med kit, maybe radio, like, you know, I said, Jesus Christ, I said med kit as if it's a fucking video game. Like, IFAC, you know, you like, just mags, IFAC potentially radio like you know you don't need like a fuck ton of shit bro like dude raiders like this is so fucking stupid this like we we are being derived deprived of monica mc time for this like this is so fucking stupid the iga is having a raid like bro dude this organization really is just completely fucking useless and can't do anything that's what this is telling me. If this is a possibility and a thing that's happening right now, this organization just doesn't do shit. You know? Muzzle flash? Man, shut the fuck up. Dude, this is so fucking stupid. Like, I hate to say it, this finale sucks ass. Like, I get this is supposed to be a big thing, but it's like this. I'm not going to lie. Monica's route. It just kind of like it the, again the problem is just none of the shit makes sense like there's zero consistency like i'm not reading this Who the fuck is Foster? Uh, dead, you know.
going to follow orders. He's like, I was just following orders. <sighs> Bro, this shit unironically makes zero fucking sense. Like, this is just so fucking stupid. Please don't hurt me. Who the fuck is this? If you work for the IGA, you're asking for this shit, dude. It's like, yeah, I ain't reading this shit, bro. Like... Bro, what the fuck, guys? Dude, what the fuck is this, bro? What is he fucking saying, bro? What is this quote? Bro thinks he's the main character. You're regarded as strong, but not anywhere near me. What the fuck is that, dude? What is this corny ass line? Bro, what the fuck does this even mean, bro? Like, they're about to just fucking shoot him, dude. Like, they're where are they gonna go? Duke it out? Like, they have some sort of rot? Oh my god, dude. Dude, what the fuck is this, bro? You stupid. Dude, there's no way this dude's surviving like six shots to the chest. Like, what fucking. You know, because even if the dude was wearing armor, bro, like, that shit's still, like, dude, th what is this fucking John Wick where everyone is bulletproof suits? Like, and you can just eat rounds? What the fuck is this, bro? Dude, what the fuck was that, bro? Why did we have, like, a whole paragraph dedicated to that? Dude, I swear to God, Julia's gonna die or some shit. Like, there's, they wouldn't do this unless someone... Bro, what the fuck is going on? All right, so we're just going to, like, accept that that happened, you know, and that's all over? Like, what the fuck is this? So, again, but I think, so, for me, honestly, the most interesting part is that Izuki seemingly, like, because my assumption was that Izuki got killed. And that kind of the MC failed his assignment. But technically, that wasn't what happened. Like, he saved Azuki. Like, she survived. But again, you know, he got reassigned and then never, I guess, you know, really ended up speaking with her, right? But I guess that guy said she killed herself. But again, you know, so I guess really the big, the most interesting part is besides the fact that they're, I guess, working for the prime minister. I think the other interesting fact is that, you know, Izuki isn't dead, or at least not confirmed, right? So, again, you know, yeah, no, damn, that's crazy, you know. Bro, dude, all bro, just go after this dude's wife and kids, bro. Fuck them up. Like, 
you know, just go go after his wife and kids, bro. You know, it's a two for one deal, right? They get Monica. You got this dude's wife and kids, bro. Let's see how much, you know, uh, they care about this man, right? So. All right, dude. Hey, all right. So if you remember, if you remember on Sayori's route, there was a decision we made, which led to one of two endings. One, the MC and C are surviving, like we see here. Two, the MC died. There is, my guess is that this choice leads to a similar outcome. And I'm going to use the same logic I did in the previous one. The logic I used with Duh or in Sayori's route was ultimately that Kagan's gun was just for show. Because if he were to use it, he would have already. My logic here is using force to make him talk won't do anything. I mean, at the end of the day, I mean, I guess you defeated the raid again. I But it was, I guess, at the end of the day, seemingly a distraction just so that they could grab Monica. But at the end of the day, you know, I mean, the, the assumption is that, A, he knows stuff, right? You know, very, like, it's quite possible that, you know, he actually unironically doesn't know what they're doing besides taking her. But B, it's like, you know, you're not going to beat that out of him, right? Especially, like, if they have this much of a vendetta against the MC. Again, at the end of the day, like, the guy seemingly doesn't care, right? I mean, he gave up all the info and admitted, you know, to everything. So, you're honestly sitting talking. I think your best bet is go after his wife and kid. You know, go after them, get them involved, and let's see what he says, right? You're not going to get anything out of him here. But again, you know, bringing his wife and kid, right? You know, we'll see what happens. But, uh, you know, again. And also the fact that, you know, you're not letting it get to you when seemingly their whole plan, the idea or plan is to get to him through her. But if you just kind of show you don't really care, right? You know. And again, the thing being that uh, I guess we don't know what happened. I mean, to be fair, all right. So does that mean that, you know, Jeff just failed at his job since the MC specifically left him the watch? You know, because at the end of the day, right, that's seemingly, you know, what that's kind of implying. But Bro, what the fuck? He's quoting some... Yeah, it's like that question was directed to you because, again, you got people on the line, too. That's why I'm saying, you know, just literally use this dude is like the dumbest motherfucker in existence. How is this man going into a business of killing with with a wife and kids and is surprised that they end up on the playing field as collateral? Like this dude should not be surprised in the slightest. Yeah, I mean, and literally all he's doing is returning the favor, like, unironically, because it's actually kind of crazy. Like, it'd be one thing if, like, let's say this guy was specifically, let's say he was still doing illegal activities, but let's say this dude was, like, a drug dealer or something. Like, all right, you know, he's not dealing in the specific business of kidnapping and killing, you know, he's, but he's still, you know, in the business of, uh, let's say, selling drugs, right, or money laundering, shit like that. You know, which would still be stupid, right, if you got a wife and kids. But, like, this is even, it's not, like, to the extent to where this dude's basically putting hits out on people when he has a whole ass family, you know.
Yeah, it's like Godspeed. Hey, it's like, nah, we're just going to kill him anyway. Yeah, no shit, Sherlock. But also, like, let's... Let's be honest. If the kidnappers were smart, they would have taken that shit off of her, you know? Bruh, dude, I swear, she just, she just stealing his fucking shirts, bro. Bro, what is he gonna fucking do? I don't know what this dude is plan, but what is he about to fucking do? So. Dude, yeah, it's like, what the fuck is going on? Dude, what the fuck? The Reaper? Bro, the Baba Yaga. What the fuck does this dude think he is, bro? What? Dude, the Baba Yaga. Dude, the Reaper. What the fuck kind of time? What the fuck? All right, where is she, bro? Like... Yeah, so, but the crazy thing is, we know that this is where he originally, they originally kept Sayor. So, again, you know, funny enough, right? Just chances are that would have been a good place to start anyway. But, you know, but again, the question is, if they're doing this to get back at the MC, you know, Ransom isn't on the table. It's a life for a life, you know? And again, like, obviously, you know, that's uh, some complications here. So. Bro, this dude thinks he's solid snake. Bro, near a box, the dude's actually solid snake. This background was used in a uh, true route. Bro, dude, this, this he's like, it's the Reaper. What the oh. and again, we're in the inside, so.
Bro, dude, this man was given an entire dude. What the fuck, dude? This man was given an entire ass story to Monica, bro. He's like, and that's why you're here. Bro, I was because I was gonna say, dude was giving a whole ass story, bro. So, but that makes no sense. All right, so like call him. I mean, you can just take her phone, call and say, Oh, we got your girl hostage at this location. Pull up. Like, you don't need her to do that. Like, you know, you like Bro, shut the fuck up. Why would you say that? Just fuck him up. You don't need to get a witty one-liner in. You know? And again, she actually looks perfectly normal compared to Sayori, who's beat the fuck. Okay, to be fair, Monica got fucked up and she got more fucked up in Sayori's route than she did here. So. Guys, did. Bro, I was going to say. This dude fucking had a grenade launcher? What the fuck? Wait, what? Oh, all right. Bitch, these guys don't have guns. Just start fucking blasting, bro. Bro, what? Dude, I fucking... <laughs> Bitch, I swear, I was about to say, if this is fucking Kagan... Okay, I'm not even gonna lie. This dude looks pretty good, bro. They got my good ass model. I'm not even gonna lie. Not even gonna lie, bro. Dude, the boss, the head honcho pulled through. Well, this is a surprise, bro. I hate how they use just the generic ass, but at least this guy got his own ass, you know, model. So, Hans, bitch, it's Hanzo? Hanzo Hagashita, Prime Minister of Japan. Bro, dude, what the fuck is going on in Japan right now, bro? Dude, it's actually like, ah, uh, yeah. Like, dude's beefing with a random teenager. Uh, you're a tricky one. Yeah, since this was taking a little longer than anticipated, I needed to intervene. Very ballsy of you. What about if I were to shoot you right now? Grant, that would serve as a death for me, but you'd also fall. Do not doubt if you were a quick draw of firearm, I would die. But I didn't get to where I am today because I was fearful. It's one thing we have in common. Learn that there are always going to be threats. This world, I mean, you need to be strong to survive. So I took care of the threats against me. It's from some lower class citizen with no true influence at all. Born age, you got involved in something he's never meant to. So you no problem hunting down innocent girls just to keep her father quiet. Well, I mean, they just straight up killed her father. You know, lived a life of constant progression. Was born to the family of an avid and dedicated politician. Truly, as a Japanese boy, my father looked to me to continue. Bro, this dude's giving his whole ass backstory right now, bro. What the fuck? So I fill his shoes as a politician and work my way up the ladder to where I sit now. It's any great businessman would do. So let me tell you something. You have the biggest thorn in my side since I've heard about you. No one else would drag me from the comfort of Tokyo to carry out business. Now, with that said... Bro, we actually... Hold on. We are, we're actually getting... Because to be fair, that's the equivalent of this. Or I guess, you know, maybe this. Uh, who knows, right? I'd probably take the first three on the left. Bro, what? Bro, snap. What does the dude think he is? Thanos? Like. 
C, never faults. That gaze can make the heart of Warriors feel full. Dude, this dude's about to fuck him up himself, bro. He's like, all right, let's score. let's throw down. You know, you could potentially be an ass. You're just going to kill us. We'll change your mind, your versatility. Knowing you're strong, your integrity is. You won't buckle under the most demanding of stress. I'm only capable of defending against lethal special operator. Dude, he made up this bullshit. These are all just buzzwords. It could also be a ghost. Take, dude, what the fuck? Are you? Not killing a single one. So if skills are more impressive. Hear me out. Let's see, take your girlfriend and leave. This is a gesture of goodwill. We're going to call on you one day. Knows if you happen to help us when you need it, I may provide you a favor. Stay in our umbrella of protection. Continue to do things. I'll make sure she's kept safe. Okay, but here's the thing: this dude still works for the IGA, right? Like, if he was not a part of the IGA, who fucking cares, right? But like, dude's still part of the IGA. We know that they're literally, you know, rival organizations. So. In the coming years. We again soon. Bro, what the fuck was that? Bro thought he was a fucking protagonist, dog. Like. Bitch, who knows? Fucking. We don't know if he's going to get the call. All right. Also, I'm going to end it here. It's been 40 minutes. Dude, there, there's no fun. All right, yeah, we're literally ending it here, bro. What the fuck? One month later, school hallway. Yeah, I'm fucking, I'm ending it here. But I guess we'll we'll see there, right? Um, I mean, assume, you know, we're going to get whatever call, right? And then, which doesn't make sense because we still work for the IGA, but who the fuck knows? To be fair, my guess is if, if we would have picked the option to beat the fuck out of him, uh, I don't think that would have been the good option. But again, we'll see. But with that. I don't really have anything else to say. So, yep, that's it for this one. See you in the next.